Oh, Earth's about to get blown up. Ooh, shit. Oh, fuck. Dude's just trying to play with the fishes. Yo, 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 what's good? Easy Breezy Eve here, and today I'm reacting to The Expanse Season 5, Episode 3. So this episode is called Mother, if I'm not mistaken, and what happened last episode was, we'll go through one by one because they're all in different places. Amos is back on Earth, he's trying to make sure that his, um, like his mother figure, caretakers, basically boyfriend or partner, um, she had passed away, so he's making sure with his old childhood friend Eric, that who's basically the mob boss of Baltimore of the future, uh, asks him to make sure that that guy gets to stay in the house. And then after that, he sort of reminisces on his past. We learn a little bit about Amos's past. Started off basically as a, a sex worker child, right? Child prostitute, and he worked his way up and got to where he is now. And then he says, I have to meet someone else first, then I'm going, I'm going off of Earth for good. So I hope that we meet that person, whoever he wants to meet um, this episode. Bobby and Alex are on Mars. They're trying to uncover with Christian about the smuggling of Martian technology to these sort of terrorists. They're still sort of not sure uh, where to go, but they did have a lead and the lead brought them to the war college some guy who is uh, jealous of Alex actually because Alex has been you know beyond the ring the first Martian to go on a new planet so like they he he's sort of famous on Mars for that but he's also hated by certain people for that and um, that's going on over there with Bobby and Christian again she's doing her thing but no longer as the queen of earth as Amos would say we didn't see Naomi last episode. He's she's supposed to be going after Philip to make sure he doesn't fall into, you know, the followings of Marco, which is too little too late. So maybe we'll probably gonna see more of that. This episode, Drummer just found Ashford's ship. Whether she knows Ashford is dead or not, I'm still unsure. But I think she has a feeling that he is because he never he basically disappeared, right? And James Holden was working with Fred and friends deputy to find that journalist who was kidnapped by someone i forget the journalist's name um but they found her before she suffocated to death in a, sh a shipment container someone is trying to get to her to stop her from whistleblowing on someone or a group of people going after the proto molecule that's being researched by fred johnson and his people yeah so very intricate workings going on this season and Let's just get right to episode three. I'm excited to see where it's gonna go. The build up is building, and you know, as in usual expanse fashion, shit will go down. The pieces are just starting to be set for now, and we're gonna see how it plays out soon. So let's just get right to it then. Oh, we're getting right into it, okay? Inner Earth, Inner Luna. Inner being marked as Inner versus Belter. Ooh, I didn't miss, I missed it. How many hours still impact? Oh shit. Luna, you can tell by the gravity. Oh, she's got the fucking general making drinks for her now. <laughs> okay. She's this having a headache, it seems. A belter, a Martian, and an earther. Walk. Sorry to interrupt. Yo, let him finish the goddamn joke. What's your poison, Doc? That's weird. That's weird. What? They're all about the Only same size. Have Consistently higher return signatures on one side only. Mm. Could these rocks have been? Shit. Our asteroid spotters would easily detect an asteroid of that size. But what if it didn't? About one to four megatons, depending on the impact angle. It sounds like a large, large number. That's a medium yield fusion warhead. Blast radius mm. thirteen kilometers. I understand that much better. <laughs> I don't understand. Take that for the road, Doctor. This discussion does not leave this room. Are you clear? Yes, sir. Man. Yeah, that's how you freak a motherfucker out by uh, talking about that and then not telling him what's going on. <laughs> Higher return signatures on one. We're right, and you know it. Yeah, you know it. <laughs> oh, man. Directed by Thomas Jane. Shit. Let's see what you got, Miller. Who is this? Oh, is this a drummer? Drummer's crew? 
going to sleep with eyeliner drummer? I guess this is not on sci-fi anymore, so. <laughs> Are they there at Ashford ship? Guns gone. Look like a lot of hull armor gone too. Damn. They stripped him. They stripped him. <sighs> Shit. Wake everyone. Prepare Damn. for boarding. Damn, she's about to board. Well, I remember from the end of season four was Ashford boarded Marco's ship. And then, well, I guess they must have stripped Ashford's ship after that. Left no survivors then, in that case. I didn't realize uh, she had two ships under her command. Man, how do they do these no gravity scenes? I wonder if she still has that bottle that they were saving for when he gets back. Boss Meng, I'm in reactor room. They stripped this shit bare. Why would Mark go in Adolf? Waste a good salvage like this. To send a message? She left it as a message. Ah, I see. Come yeah. after me. I knew it. And you die. Ooh. This was recorded on a series a few days ago. Fuck, is that Marco? Oh, <gasps> damn. Oh, he shot him through the hand and you could see it. That's Paolo Cortazar, the protogen scientist who worked on the protomolecule, right? Um, where'd you get that? Your organization leaks like a sieve. Did you know? <laughs> no. No way they can Person grab first. Fred from his own fucking That's ship. Kidnappers. And is Fred the only one who knows where this research facility is? Naomi, my girl. One episode without you, Naomi, is one episode too long. I like that though. The hair. Oh. Damn! Ah, you Naomi Nagata. Oh my god. An MSF. Famous person before. Infamous too many times. <laughs> this drink. I mean. Thank you. Hi, Naomi. Do they know who she is? Fine. Oh! Motherfuck! <laughs> and they only I remember would never have gotten shit done like that. Probably she just because you were always around. <laughs> Good, she has friends. Hey, couple of seats. She just, just didn't want room. trouble, man. You work for Fred Johnson and the Inners. Easy. And the Inners. All of a sudden, Naomi Negata come back to Palace. No, you're here for bounty or Marco. If I wanted to put you in jail, you'd be there already. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I know Philip's here. Philip's here. Are they working for Marco? I came to see him. What a fucking chance. You don't speak for him. He don't want to speak to you. Does he, he know? His life. Mm, he knows that I'll Naomi's the that mom. He tells me to my face. Why now? After so long. Because he's doing terrorist shit. What the fuck are you talking about? The price of Marco's head is going to get him killed. Philippines. Mm, no, they are running with Marco. I'm still his mother. You left him and us. Mada. Yeah. It was good seeing you one last time. One last time. <sighs> Silvater may be an asshole, that doesn't mean he's an arms dealer. The man is an admiral. He is an asshole. Service coming up on retirement. 
So get something useful out of Babbage and we'll have proof. Babbage. <laughs> she just wants to talk about it less. Right. So she'll lead the conversation and won't suspect a thing when you ask a few questions about Cybertech. <laughs> She's she obviously cool, a spy. You know? and I don't want to. We're not a spy, but you know. She has the wrong impression about me. Which is. <laughs> that I'm talking too. to her to get closer to her boss. Trust me. Oh, I see. It's the last thing I want to. Ah, you look nice. Thank you. And, and thanks she does look nice. so much for meeting me. Gotta well, admit and it. And to help out a fellow sailor. Uh, are you up for a glass of wine on the War College, of course? Oh, Research yeah. is On the War College? Whoa, we'll there. We'll have a bottle of the Benici Cabernet <laughs> Reserve. Y'all just spending grant money like that? So, Alex Kamal, hmm. what does it feel like knowing that your name's going to be in history books? Wow. Um, I never really thought about it like that. Come on, you Come have. on, you can read right through but, that, Alex. Yeah, God damn it, Alex. On occasion. Yeah. Uh, I guess it makes it worthwhile in the end. But it does make you wonder how many more bullets you can dodge. <laughs> Jeez. Look, but the RCE reports are classified and the right. Belter accounts are filled with so many inconsistencies. This girl, man, what she's I putting all the moves. <laughs> Is what I didn't see. Uh, it was a slow roll. Oh. See, it started with a swarm of metal locusts, and it ended with a Don't tell me. physics defying fusion shutdown. These are the so ones that are trying to get the proto molecule from Fred. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was. It directly with the proto molecule. And he convinced it to just shut everything down. It, <laughs> it's like Josephus Miller, the Beltos referred to in their broadcasts. Human consciousness simulated by alien biotech amazing thing about that story might just be your modesty <laughs> yo i really do think now that the, she's part of the people trying to get the proto molecule from fred but what the hell do i know oh motang say no more power modules to spare also oh no calm buffer no nothing nada huh. really what is it Maybe Marco Hydraulic found it. Forward airlock. It needs manual reset. No, 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 no. Right. I remember he I sent it. He sent it on his on his when right when he was suffocating at the end of last season, he sent something on his watch. Oh, it's the second one. Second fire hydrant. Nice. Ooh. Got the piece. The backup piece. Maybe the, the the thing on the watch sent it to this. So that now she can extract whatever he sent on the watch. You do know, Marco, mm -hmm. that throwing rocks at Tycho Aceris will do execution. Damn. Oh, she's pissed. She's pissed as fuck. Today was a good day, my friends. Not a good day. We will find Marco Naros and collect a $20 million bounty on his head. Oh, they're like, oh, we're going for Marco? Oh, no. A bounty. I don't know about that. We paid it. In salvage business. Yeah. Ghost night. Bitch. I ain't Ashford. Ashford had one ship. We have three. It's not about the money. Money, hurry up money. And finish the Rossi. Now you slow me down to do this. If this makes any fucking difference, you got two speeds. Slow and <laughs> the Rossi can wait. We need this done quick and quiet. The original manifest for the shipping container is gone. You Who's that? Free. Tamia and Medasto Duro. Employees of Record. Family business. And moonlights and kidnapping. Moonlights Who and says kidnapping. Belters are hard up for jobs. They rent a compartment. Or does that mean? Never would be. Oh, they came right away with the batons. Are these people even still alive? They're probably just loose ends. Yeah, you see? They were hired by someone else, obviously. 
So ah, mad. she got him Alex drunk. God damn it, Alex! I was like, We're celebrities. Like, Not a spy. Dude. This dude's a, a straight up pilot. <laughs> oh, well, he is falling for it. This has been fun. So easy. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it has been. Well, that's true. So, so how long have you been working with Sobater? Um, going mm. on five years. He's one hell of a great he, speaker. She's he not going to say shit. Yesterday, I was tempted she knows. Still don't know how he does it all. I mean, uh, I'd love to, but I have to be up early shipping out in the morning. Oh, that's a shame. Where are you headed out? Nope, nowhere, just a routine supply run. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. Routine supply run, is it? The Barkeith. Hmm. I had oh. a real good time. <laughs> Alex is good, too. Uh, I... This Gotta way. give some to get some, I Thank guess. You. Again, for indul right. Thank you. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Why? Shit, now I'm confused on the whole dynamic. <sighs> I can't tell with her. Oh, this dude's geez. happy like he didn't just get played. Hey, you're Alex Kamal, right? Who the you fuck is this now? Oh, shit! Oh, what the fuck? Oh! Oh, Bobby, where's, where's Bobby? Fuck. Damn, she got sparkly pants. What did you do to me? You're lucky they didn't try to kill you. Upstanding Martian like you want to know about Admiral Sovater. Hmm. Right away. Right away. Tell me the truth, hon. Huh? Was that truth, sir? What do you want to know? Come on, you got training. He's really? Selling weapons oh, to the belters. <laughs> My friend, Bobby Draper. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. Fuck, Alex! Shoot him. Oh. Well, no, I think that's a mistake. Hey, Alex. Ooh, thank God Bobby's here. Oh, thank God. Don't make a pilot do a spy's work, man. Jeez. Mm -hmm, bitch. Fuck with people your own skill level. <laughs> Then they just jumped me. Wow. They just pushed me through the doorway and started roughing me up. Mm. Yeah. Can't right. trust anybody. That's what they were asking me to give them my valuables. One of the former Navy petty officers dishonorably discharged. For dishonorably what? discharged. They're just a couple of bottom Theft fighters. of military Probably hardware, a you see? Quick score off a person of note. Got some info today. We'll take it from here. Give them a bullet hole. <laughs> Looks like we shook the right tree. Yeah, well, the trees ain't supposed to shake back. <laughs> <laughs> She's not really into me. Well, on the side, I'm not your type. Well, she kept dodging my questions about so no, but I didn't learn. Say encounter, we get visual IDs and drive signatures and send the lot to Ava Sorala. Bobby is tall. We could flush out their entire smuggling chain. Mars to belt. Unless they spot us. Razorback's got no guns. Well, it has one hell of a sneaky pilot. Uh, this is not the homecoming I was expecting. Damn, I knew she was about to bring that drink out. If I wanted company, I'd have stayed in bed. Was we that the girl she was sleeping with just how now? Much someone is a part of us. It's not about revenge, it's about money. A good opportunity for all not of us. Not a good liar. At least not on this. Oh, it is the girl she was sleeping with. I hope that doesn't mean she's not going to go after Marco. No way she doesn't go after Marco. Oh, look, the scar on her back. Oh, is she going to go on her own? The bottle's still there. No way she's not going to go. Maybe it will do some good for the belt. Who is she sending that to? This is not my fight. Ah, oh, damn. She said it's not my fight. You about to open the bottle, but you're not about to go after him? 
Oh. He came. Do they have the same tattoo on the neck? They do. You help me. I don't need any of your help. Why would I he don't think want anything she... to happen to you because of what your father's done? I can help you. This dude's a hundred percent with Marco, man. Don't you know? The ship that I came in on, I bought it. But please, just take it. Fuck you. Yeah, this dude is not doing it for I money. I know what you're going through. I, I know this sounds crazy. You but... don't know shit. Everything my father told me about you. It's true. Don't go, Philip, please. Just listen to me. You can't just tell him to leave and then not bring him with you. Why would he choose to be alone? What's... What, how? That was a weird proposition. As far as we can tell, you can stop digging. They're about to reveal themselves. Oh, the fuck. The container Monica was in. It's still inbound. They think Monica stole the container. Ah. Oh. That's the way it's going to stay. Them and the ship. And let's make sure we have someone left to talk to this time. <laughs> Naomi, man, I feel like you made the wrong proposition. You should have taken him with you or offered to. I, But I don't think he would have left Marco anyway. Marco raised him and now he's all in it. Oh, shit. He came? No. Hey. Too good to be true. Yep. He came What's to take on? you. Oh! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Naomi's gonna go meet Marco. Sooner than I expected. Shit. All right. What's Christian up to? Or is he going to meet Naomi? Not Naomi, sorry, Nancy. Na oh, what? Okay. You need to see this. Apparently, when Marco Inaros was younger, he was a slingshot pilot. I'm asking the watchtowers isn't going to happen. Damn. Why not? As soon as my contact heard the name Marco Naros, he shut me down. Wouldn't listen to a word I had to say. Why? Huh. Because he knows it. And if they persisted, you would reassign them to the farthest outpost in the Jovian system. Tell me I'm wrong. Yeah. I've learned to listen. Oh, give me the old her would have done that. Part of this job is knowing when it's over and moving on. That's what we need to do. Felix. Damn, the cards Felix. aren't falling the right way. You're the only ally I have left. Man, Earth, Earth's about to get blown up. Just because this girl couldn't run a, an election right. Yeah. Her own husband ghosted nice the shit out of her. And the boys here. Oh, someone's calling. Probably Bobby. Fred fucking Johnson. Not. You do know, Marco, that throwing rocks at Tycho is serious. Oh. Do little to harm the enemies. You still don't see it. I don't see what. Got the proof. I even imagine it. Drummer sent to Fred. Fred sent to her. Even our dreams are small. Nice. Nice. Oh. Whose ship is that? Oh! Oh, fuck! There's already one falling! Oh, hell no. Oh. Who's that? Who is this innocent bystander about to get fucked up? Who's just trying to play with the fishes? <sighs> the 
fish are getting the fuck out of there. Can't swim that fast, fish. Can't swim that fast. Damn. Well, yeah, man. A lot more drummer, which is good. Drummer found out about Ashford and Ashford had recorded his last conversation with Marco. But she decided to not pursue, not make it her fight. I wonder how long that'll last. Um, you know, I know that she, you know, she she has a girlfriend now and she her new crew. And I think she's also, she wants to have revenge, but she's trying to change. So I get it. But I don't think she's going to stay out of this fight. I really do think a few episodes in the future, she will have to you know especially now things are getting real i was not expecting earth to get hit by the asteroid this episode um so i do think drummer will join the fight uh in a, you know soon james and fred are still looking for the um, people who kidnapped the reporter they're still on Tycho um because they had stopped all you know travel and so we'll see definitely by next episode we'll find out i think who that's gonna be i have a feeling and i'm probably completely wrong here because you guys are you know episode five just came out today but i think it's the martians um for two reasons one or at least the the bad bitch bad bitch and her people she said that she mentioned about the proto molecule she was asking about the proto molecule a whole lot right and number two she was leaving Mars that day. And at that same, right after that, Fred said a ship is trying to come and get that cargo. So I have a feeling that's her, that's Babbage. Um, but again, we'll see if I'm wrong uh, or right. Uh, Amos, we didn't really see much. Uh, did we even see Amos at all today? I don't think we saw any Amos. So that was surprising. So we don't know who the last person he wanted to see before he leaves Earth is. Um, the thing is though, he's on Earth while that first asteroid got hit or hit Earth. I don't think that, I mean, obviously he's not going to get hit by that asteroid, but he will be there and we are going to see things from Earth's perspective. We'll see the attack from Earth's perspective. And I wonder if Marco is going to claim that attack. I'm sure he will. And, um, that's going to be interesting as well. Naomi got kidnapped. <sighs> Naomi, I get it. Like it's she's a mother and she's hoping Philip comes back, but Philip doesn't re like doesn't know you. You know, she he only knows you from what you've done from the news probably. Like Marco raised him. Marco already indoctrinated him. Right? As if he was one of his not just his followers, but literally his son. So no way he's just gonna one day turn around and you didn't even ask him to you didn't even ask him to come with you you asked him to take the ship and run away on your own like no way he's gonna do that so we'll see what happens to naomi i think we'll see naomi talk to marco next episode but yeah oh man nancy fucking gal i don't know if i said this earlier but nancy gal man her stubbornness her made up rivalry with christian literally got mars uh, got earth attacked if there's even an iota, if there's even an iota of evidence that Earth might get attacked and you have this intelligence coming from one of your top generals, you at least take precautions. You don't just say fuck that because Christian is the one who brought you the information. Are you fucking stupid? So yeah, I, I knew that Nancy Gao was not, doesn't have what it takes to be the leader of Earth. Um, and she paid the price and Earth paid the price. We see that. And I wonder if they will even acknowledge Christian as she has just been vindicated. Not only did she get the proof that she needed, but at the same time, Earth just got attacked. So yeah, I'm excited to see uh, how this all plays out. I wonder if we'll even ever see the crew get back together again this season. It seems like they're all on their separate paths with their separate objectives. So 
that will be really cool to see how it all converges by the end of the season so that's my episode three i'm trying to catch up with you guys but even when i do i gotta edit the videos and release them so happy new year's first of all and happy new year's to everyone and i'm not sure if this video will have already come out by the time i post it before or after new year's but happy new year's to everyone go ahead and hit a like button if you like the video and go ahead and hit subscribe if you want to see more reactions and not just for this show but for other shows as well and remember until the next video easy does it